Good morning students. Welcome to today's class. Today we see about image which is a very important component in multimedia. We know that with an image we can give lot of information to the people who looks into that. In computer there are two ways in which images are generated. They are bitmap image or raster image and vector images. These are the two types of images which are generated by computer. Raster or bitmap images are formed by pixels, tiny dots. As we draw graph x and y axis lot of dots forms a picture each pixel consists of two or more colors based on how much data in bits is used to determine the number of colors the color depth is determined that is the color and the color depth is determined by the number of pixels in an image. When the number of pixels increases, the color increases as well as the color depth also increase. For example, one bit is two color, four bit is 16 color, eight bit indicates 256 colors and so on. So when we look into the images, according to the number of bits in the image, the number of colors in the image increases. So here, the common and comprehensive form of storing images in the computer is bitmap image or raster image. It is formed by tiny dots called pixels. So based on how much data in bits is used to determine the color and color depth. The next form of image is vector images. Vector images are just drawings. So it may be lines, rectangles, circles and so on. Those images are called as vector images. These vector images has an advantage that is it requires only a small amount of data. It requires only small amount of data. So compression techniques are used to reduce the file size that will be helped full in storing large number of images and transmission for networked applications. That means when we are transferring so many images, if the image size is too much, we can transfer only a very less amount of images. Whereas if the amount of data required is less or the file size is less, we can transfer more images in it. So when we compare bitmap image and vector image, bitmap images are comparatively heavy and vector images are comparatively light in their size. The next topic is animation. Animation is the process displaying still images so quickly so that they give the impression of continuous movement. We all know the term animation. Nowadays it is very familiar. Animations are created with the help of images. A drawn, hand-drawn image. So lot of images 
when it is continuously displayed in a quick speed we feel that the images are moving such a movement is known as what animation animations can be created by defining their coordinates by defining their coordinates so what is coordinate we have learned in the graph x axis and y axis so it is known as the coordinate so here in order to create an animation we need to define the coordinates whether it is x y coordinate or whether it is x y z coordinate so if you want to create an animation with a very natural impression we need at least 16 frame at least 16 frames per second and it gives a very good natural looking it should be at least 25 frames per second so animations can be in two type two dimensional animation and three dimensional animation two dimensional animation brings an image alive it is displayed on a flat x y axis whereas three dimensional arrays sorry three dimensional animations are displayed in x y and z axis when we compare two dimensional animation with three dimensional animation three dimensional animation are more effective than that of two dimensional animation the animations can be defined or classified into two path animation and frame animation so what is the animation animation is the process of displaying still image so quickly so that they give the impression of continuous movement now we are going to discuss about path animation and frame animation what is path animation path animation involves moving an object on the screen that has a constant background that has a constant background that means only the object is moving and the background will be a still image so path animation is an animation where all the characters does not move only one object is moving the remaining objects stay still what is frame animation in frame animation multiple objects are allowed to travel simultaneously and the background or the other objects also change so in frame animation many number of objects or all the objects on the screen are allowed to move and the background also moves the objects also move so in frame animation all the objects what are displayed on the screen will move but in path animation only the object which is in front will be moving the background will be still there will be no changes for the background there will be no changes for the background or any other character only a single character will be moving sound is another important element in multimedia we know that we all are pleased 
to hear good music or sounds songs etc so sound is a meaningful speech in any language and is the most serious element in multimedia providing the pleasure of music special effects and so on decibels is a measurement of volume the pressure level of sound so whatever is the medium we need a good sound effect as a background to attract the viewer so sound is very important element in multimedia so decibel is the measurement of volume so it may be asked in one words decibel is the measurement of volume digital audio sampled sound is a digitized sound so what is a digital audio digital audio is a sound which is digitalized or computerized a sample of a sound is taken and stored every nth fraction of a second as digital information in bits and bytes so uh, we know that uh, you might have heard some sample sounds of some animals or some persons or as background musics etc etc so how do we get a digitized sound is a sample of the sound is taken and stored in every nth fraction of a second as digital information in bits and bytes so if you want to make a digital audio we want to get a sample sound which is collected in every fraction that is nth fraction maybe uh, once in a while it will be collecting the quality of this sample sound is defined with the bit depth resolution and sample size so when the quality when we want a higher quality the finer quality of the captured sound and resolution is achieved while played back so when we have a good bit depth resolution and sample size we will be getting a fine quality of sound when we are playing it back so what is a digital audio a sampled sound is digitized sound so a sa sample sound which is taken in every fraction of a second is then played back which is known as digitized sound video we all know what is a video video is a recorded information of a event or a scene whatever it may be it is a powerful way to convey information to the audience we know that video can convey the information easily because whatever is seen by a person will remain in his memory forever for a long time so whenever we watch a movie or a particular incident it will stay in our memory for a long time the videos can be categorized into two types analog video and digital video so video can be defined as the display of recorded event and scene it is a powerful way to convey information to the audience two types of videos are analog video and digital video analog video a analog video is a video data 
that is stored in a non computer media like video tapes laser disc film etc any video that is stored in such medium is known as analog video analog videos can be again divided into composite and component analog video so what is a composite analog video the composite analog video has all the components that are necessary for a video like brightness color synchronization which are combined into one signal which are combined into one signal so due to the combining of brightness color synchronization etc into a single signal there will be a loss in color blending low clarity high generational loss where do we use this composite analog video is in customer analog video tape formats such as Betamax, VHS, etc. So, dear students, today we have dealt with image. What are the different types of images? Raster image or bitmap image, vector images, animation. What are the types of animation? Two dimensional and three dimensional animation. What are the basic types of animation like path animation, frame animation? What is sound? What is digital audio? What is video? What are the different types of videos such as analog video and digital video? So, by this, I conclude today's class. The remaining portion will be dealt in the next video. Thank you.